Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about a missing persons case. Now, this case is about a kid who has been missing for almost two years. Ariel Jeffrey Kuku went missing on March 12, 2018 in Montreal, Canada. He was a 10 year old boy at the time, he would now be 11. He was born on January 2nd, 2008 and his family described him as a boy who loved the world even though he was timid and shy. On the day of his disappearance, it was actually a Monday, but it was a day off from school. So a little after 12, Ariel decided that he wanted to go to a friend's house. That was literally just 500 meters from his own home. So he went and when he knocked on the door and there was no answer, he decided to leave. And uh, a neighbor actually witnessed him do that. So after he left his friend's house, um, he went back towards his home and in between his house and his friend's house, there was actually a park called Parc des Bateliers, and it was actually near a river called La Rivière des Prairies. Now a woman actually saw him walk towards his home and we also have CCTV footage that shows Ariel walking um, back home. And this CCTV footage is so suspicious to me because if you look at it, Ariel looks back twice as if either someone was following him or someone was calling to him. It is so suspicious to me. This CCTV footage would be the last known sighting of Ariel. After several hours of Ariel not being back home, his parents actually reported him missing to the Montreal police. 24 hours after his disappearance, an Amber Alert was launched, but it was later revoked because of lack of evidence. Now, to have an Amber Alert, you actually need like a specific place or a specific person that you think might have abducted the person, so that's why it was revoked because the police didn't know. There, was, there wasn't anyone that was specifically being looked at for his disappearance. After 17 hours of Ariel being missing, police actually started research and they actually first went door to door to see if anyone had seen him, if they had any leads, and then they started searching the river that I was talking about earlier that was um, near the park because at that time you need to keep in mind that it was cold here in Canada it, I mean it was March so the the river was actually frozen so it was really hard to um, find anything actually didn't find anything to this day police haven't found anything regarding Ariel's case so almost two years later now they don't have anything to go off of unfortunately to hopefully find him now let's get into the theories. Now the first theory is that he ran away. Now I don't really believe this one because I feel like he was, he was 10 years old. That's pretty young to run away and never come back. And it's not like he had a bad life. Like he, I think he liked his life, you know? Everybody said he loved the world. And also he had never ran away before. So I think this theory is very unlikely, but it is a possibility. The second theory is that Ariel was actually abducted or worse, I think you can imagine what I'm talking about. Um, I think this is a possibility, but I don't think Ariel would have went with someone he didn't know um, because like I said, he was shy. So I don't think he would just go with a stranger, but if, if it was made by force, I think, I think it's a possibility. Now, the third and last theory is that Ariel actually fell into the river. I think that was the most believed theory at first. Um, that's why there was so much research done about it. But I feel like since the research started just several hours after he went missing, I, f I feel like they would have found something. So right now, I don't think that's a plausible theory. This is all the information we have about this case. It's actually really heartbreaking because his family is just so hurt by the situation. I'm gonna put a video just to show you how much they care about him and it's just so sad. Uh, <laughs> the place of my son is not the way it is. <laughs> his place is at home, <laughs> at school with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Not where he is. <laughs> so if ever somebody knows something, even uh, 
something that is insignificant. <laughs> Maybe it can be that thing that will make the difference. So please, whatever you know about my kid's disappearance, please, please, tell the police.